Welcome back students. Now we are going to study about chemical properties of alkanes. In this we will study that what are the different kind of chemical reactions which are shown by alkanes. Basically alkanes undergo substitution reactions which include halogenation, nitration and sulfonation. Apart from them we will study about oxidation which is basic reactions for which hydrocarbons are used. As I told you hydrocarbons are the sources of energy and energy is produced by burning of hydrocarbons or combustion or oxidation. So we'll study about all these. Let's start chemical properties of alkanes. Now we are going to discuss about substitution reactions in alkanes. Okay one or more hydrogen atoms of alke alkanes can be replaced by halogen, nitro groups and sulfuric acid groups. So let's discuss first of all about halogenation. Halogenation is the process in which hydrogen, one hydrogen of alkanes is replaced by a halogen. And halogenation of uh, alkanes takes place in the presence of sunlight. And actually uh, it is a chain reaction. For methane reacts with chlorine to form chloromethane and the reaction does not stop here but it continues again the compound chloromethane further reacts with chlorine to form dichloromethane which further reacts with chlorine to form trichloromethane and the reaction continues till tetrachloromethane is formed. Let's have a look at the mechanism of this reaction and let's find out that why does this happen but first of all the order the rate of reaction of alkanes with halogen is in this order. Fluorine is most reactive, then chlorine, then bromine, and then iodide. And while the rate of replacement of the hydrogen of alkane is in the case of a tertiary, followed by secondary, and then primary. Actually, what happens that we have seen just order that fluorine is the most reactive, then bromine, then chlorine, and then iodine, a fluorine, then chlorine, then bromine. But actually, the fluorination is too violent to be controlled. It is fluorine is so reactive that the reaction of fluorine with alkanes is uncontrolled. While iodine is very slow, it is the least reactive, it is very slow and it is reversible in nature. So it can be carried out in the presence of oxidizing agents like HiO3 or HNO3 only. Okay, so now let's have a look at the mechanism for halogenation. And this uh, reaction of halogenation of alkanes proceeds by a free radical mechanism. First step is chain initiation step and what happens in this step that the chlorine which we have taken reacts with sunlight and homolytic cleavage of the bond takes place because of which two chloride free radicals are generated and this is the initiation step step this is where the reaction initiates the next step is propagation step that means how the reaction proceeds what happens that uh, this chlorine radical which is formed reacts with methane let's say and it abstracts a hydrogen from there to form HCl and a methyl free radical is formed. Now this free radical again reacts with another molecule of chlorine and abstract a chloride from there to form CH3Cl and Cl free radical is generated. This Cl free radical again reacts with CH3Cl abstracts a hydrogen to, to form HCl and again a CH2Cl free radical is generated. This CH2Cl free radical again reacts with a chlorine molecule to form CH2Cl2 and a chloride radical is generated. Again this chloride radical reacts with CH2Cl abstracts a hydrogen to form HCl and yes CHCl2 is formed and the reaction continues till the formation of CCl4. So this was the propagation step. Now the question comes how does the reaction stop? 